Hey YouTubers, so <clears throat> this is a 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon with the Uconnect RHR radio. It's got 111,000 miles and about 10,000 miles ago my radio started to fail in that uh, the Bluetooth functionality um, died um, and so now I'm only on FM radio. I do have a uh, lockpick installed so that I could run a rear and uh, rear camera, two different rear cameras. Um, but so anyway, um, this is a, this is going to be a video of me showing, at least attempting to um, replace my hard drive. According to my gig recovery, um, all of the symptoms that I've experienced uh, should equate to a dead hard drive. So I've tried all the resets that are available and uh, nothing works. So hopefully uh, this will fix it. So I'll get to it and follow along if you want. Of course, disconnect the battery, but I do want to show you that you can fit a giant 1000 cca um, battery in here if you remove the stock spacer. There's this, in this battery tray there's a little spacer in the front. Uh, if you remove that you can just shoehorn this battery in um, and uh, it's great. Runs the, runs the winch no issues even with the engine off for a very long time. So anyway, I'm going to disconnect the battery and move inside. Alright, with the battery disconnected, uh, you've all seen this before. The screw behind this, take this out, reach in there, unclip, remove the uh, knee panel. There are two screws down here, and then one up here. Uh, I'll have to remove my cell phone holder uh, and charger, but same process. Sorry about the glare, guys. All right, so at this point, <clears throat> nothing new. You've taken uh, the instrument panel or the dash pad off, and now we're going to undo four screws, four seven mil screws that hold the head unit in place, and slide it out. All right. All right. So I pulled the heart. The um, four screws to hold the head unit in place and now the hard drive is on the bottom side so let's flip this thing over and it's supposed to be in there so these are tiny little torques they are t8 so that's what i gotta remove so we'll open this up and uh, let's see what it looks like Okay, so <laughs> screws for a hard drive service. So there are only two that you have to remove. You don't need to remove all four of these, at least not yet. So let's see what's inside here. Door flips open. And there we go. Let's turn this around a bit. There we go. So there's the hard drive. <clears throat> those four screws are will hold the hard drive in place and then there's a ribbon cable note the orientation of this i think it's going to be it's many many pins so you got to make sure that when we pull this back in we put it in carefully on the line everything uh, and do not pull on the ribbon cable so um i purchased my replacement hard drive from these guys. Uh, this is obviously not a sponsored video. Um, and it was 120 bucks to get an automotive grade Hitachi replacement. 120 bucks versus, and they, they provide you with a CD with uh, um, software upgrade, certified software upgrade. So uh, I figure 120 bucks is better than buying a uh, one of the Android head units that you know requires something and it doesn't always work very well. So now um, I'm going to 
carefully use a little pick and uh, separate the ribbon cable uh, just by putting putting a little bit of pressure here in the corner and just kind of working your way out and then I'll take this uh, old hard drive out okay but I'll need two hands for that so stand by so basically just kind of start it at one end and work it like that okay so that's the old one and um, we'll take the old one out put the new one on this plate and uh, we'll put the uh, hard disk or the um, ribbon cable back on. Okay. So that's the old one. That's the new one. So we'll just put that on here and reinstall these four screws. Okay. Time to reinstall. So the new hard drive is mounted to the mounting plate and uh, the orientation is as follows. So with the label up and the wide band on the ribbon, it will go like that. Right, let me see if I can do this. I always show you one handed. So the ribbon needs to go, sorry, um, like that. It needs, you need to match up the pins in this orientation so I'm gonna do that and then we'll uh, we'll put everything back together okay all right so there's the ribbon installed make sure your pins are matched up exactly okay so now um, I am gonna put the cover back or the hard drive back in the head unit and then after that I'm gonna plug the battery back in and uh, see how everything works. So putting it back in is relatively simple, like that. Click, and then two uh, tiny little T8s. There's one. There's the other. So I will, uh, I'll button this up and bring you back when the battery's on. Okay, so uh, FM function is back. Uh, well, FM function was always there, but uh, we're going to enter the engineering menu and, um, and then we're going to test the new hard drive. Okay, so to enter the engineering menu, you press menu and seek up and seek down. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. Menu. Uh, one hand there. Menu. Okay, you get this message. Click OK. Do not, do not touch anything other than hard drive test. Okay, so we're going to start the hard drive test. I can hear it spinning. So I think that might be okay. I'm going to go back, exit that, and now I'm going to try to pair uh, my phone. Okay, so I'll bring you back. Um, according to the instructions here, the other thing you need to check to make sure that the hard drive is being read is... Um, back in the engineering menu you scroll down to versions click on versions and you can scroll down and see that it reads um, 
hard drive model and the firmware. So it is being read, so that's good. I can also hear it spinning, so that's good. So um, I'm gonna continue and uh, go back and try to pair my phone on the Bluetooth mode. Okay, so let's see if I can get it. Well, I'm unable to uh, to pair my phone. The Bluetooth doesn't find it, so I'm going to try to install a software update and see if that helps. So I, I just put in the CD and we'll follow the prompts. So that's where we're going to go. Mm. Might take a minute. I'll be back. Okay. So uh, let's see what happens. You're supposed to keep this going with the engine on. So that it doesn't stop in the middle. So keep it going. Hopefully this didn't jack it all up. Going on about five minutes so far. And here's what the instructions say. Um, the version that was installed in the hard drive was version 2.6 based on that engineering menu. I have an RHR and it is now installing version 2.7. So um, hopefully this will be a long-lasting fix. I plan to get at least another 90,000 miles out of this thing, so before my son gets it. Okay, so here we go. disk come on there you go all right well I'm gonna try pairing and I'll uh, let's see if uh, we can get it done here uh, in order to pair think we need to do new connect phone setup select one of the following device pairing confirmation prompts select device emergency or towing assistant all right well there it is it worked so my uh, the hard drive works the bluetooth is paired and uh, in order to pair the Bluetooth, you hit um, the phone menu and you uh, use the voice prompts to, um, to pair. There are lots of videos on that. I'm not going to go through it, but I'm happy. Um, for 120 bucks, uh, back in business, I'm going to tidy everything back up, push this back in, screw it in, put my dash pad on, and we'll be good to go. Um, if you guys have any questions, Feel free to ask. Talk to you later.